an interactive mural showing phases of migration and scenes of deportation is now a feature under the Paso de Norte Bridge in Juarez. It shows the faces of 13 people who've dealt with deportation and tells their stories as a way to connect others with the border. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez has the story. This is a mural that showcases the lives of 13 people who have faced deportation. Among them, there are U.S. citizens and Mexican nationals who now have shared their stories to connect with the border communities of Juarez and El Paso. I was deported six years ago um, through the same border, Juarez. And so to have my portrait on this wall is a, is symbolic to me. It's kind of a a full circle for it to happen in the same border where I crossed through. Ana Garcia currently lives in the Mexican state of Jalisco. She was born in Mexico but raised in Utah. For her, having her face and her story portrayed at this mural represents her story, her deportation story, and of the rest as well. I asked her what she felt when she learned she was going to come back to the city where she was deported from the U.S. It's emotional. It's very emotional, um, very triggering very traumatic. Um, this is where our journey started, my journey back to Mexico. For and Anna, see, see her portrait, portrait under this international bridge along her family is huge and an honor. With different QR codes, you can learn the story of each of these 13 people. It was very ironic to me that it was in Juarez where my story began. So, of course, I, I jumped at the opportunity to be a part of it. When Anna was going to be deported, she was afraid but also relieved because although she was deported, she felt free. She said she didn't feel free in the U.S. It's a very restricted, you know, for immigrants once we cross over, even when we have papers. So to me, deportation set me free. It was the beginning of a new journey for her and her family. Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Heriberto. If you'd like to read more about and learn the stories of these 13 people who were placed at the interactive mural in Juarez, you can find the QR link on Heriberto's story at kvia.com.